Hello, welcome to Spurverts part two. I'm still with Craig and I'm still with Emma. This time we are talking about the busy period that we've got coming up fixtures wise. We've got City, Fiorentina, Palace in the Cup, Fiorentina and Swansea all coming up in quite a concentrated, what was that, two week period? Yeah. Guys, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. What are your thoughts? How are we going to get through it? I don't, I don't, oh my God, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm not worried anymore. After seeing the way, I know, this is, this is really scaring me that I'm even saying this, but seeing the way that Poch has rotated the team over mm -hmm. the last few games with the cup, the cup replay uh, in the league, I'm not worried. I think our squad can handle it. I think we've got the depth. With the exception of up front, which we, let's face it, we've talked about a lot. Yeah. Uh, with the exception of up front, yes, but I think we do. I actually think we do. And for the first time, I'm not worried about the return of the Europa League. I'm actually not worried about it. I think winning is a habit. I think you get into a habit of rolling over teams and you gather momentum. And I think, to be honest, getting a win against Fiorentina, getting to the latter stage of the Europa League will actually just give us more momentum and more confidence going forward. I don't think we need to do it with the same 11 over and over again. Um, and that's what really excites me at the moment. So I'm not, I'm putting it out there. I'm not worried. Good. Good. Not worried. There well, we go. Positive Emma. <laughs> Amazing. Who are we going to play then? Who are we going to start against Fiorentina? Do you think he's going to go with the first team or is he going to rest anyone? I think he's going to put a considerably strong team. I mean, who is the first team these days? We don't really well, know who the first exactly team is. They're all getting exactly and changed. It. Chad Lee is more than capable of okay, playing tell you first what, team. Then, tell you what, you've got Fiorentina, then Palace, then Fiorentina, right? Yeah. In which game does he rest Kane? None. He's got to play Not all of Pal them. What, Palace in I'm the playing, cup? I'm playing him all of them. He's got to. I mean, Harry Kane is someone who seems like he's up for it anyway. He'd play if you if he could. He'd play he every like single to, yeah. game. The problem with the problem with Kane for me is he'll get burnt out because of what he does. So, for instance, he's dropping back he way so too hard. much. He he he's going. So far I saw back. him wide so many times against Watford, like yeah. when he was supposed to be up front and whipping balls. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's there? a complete player. Just stay up front. No, I like it, but and then a part of me is like, don't do that for 90 minutes. Do you know what I mean? You're a striker, stay up front, mean, yeah. do not burn yourself out. If he stays up front and he doesn't run as much as he needs to, then he could play all of these games. Back in the 70s, okay, <laughs> back in the 70s, they had a 14-man squad. Before any of us 14 were 14-man squad. <laughs> they can do it. You rotate, you just got it. Winning's a habit. It, winning is a habit. And do you know what? I'm going to be controversial. I think if you had to rest Kane for one of those, and I kind of agree with you, he should play all of them, I actually think Fiorentina are away. You reckon? I think we because could get Because we'd have counter, got such a, a huge aggregate against them already. Is that why? No, because I think we can take it back in the second leg and we can nail that tie in the second leg at home if we have to. If we have mm. to sacrifice him and take a draw away, bring it back, win 2 3 nil at home. A lot of pressure. We've just shown we can deal with pressure. Look what happened also, on Saturday. Also, all great teams can compete on all fronts. Exactly. All the greats. You look at the greats. Yeah? Manchester United, 1999. Barcelona last year, even Juventus, they just missed out on the treble last year. All great teams can compete on all fronts, winning's a habit. So if you truly are a great team, and you truly are Premier League contenders, winners, then you're going to compete on all fronts. And so also, what one, one final thing is it's not just the Europa League that's back, it's the Champions League that's back. So if, you know, we finish top four, please God, I'm not going to jinx anything, and we're back in it next season, we've got to learn to deal with this. It's just the way that it is. If you want to be a successful team, you've got to learn to compete in Europe alongside competing in the league. I'm loving this. Got to do it. Fair oh, enough. So you guys both think that of those five games, we're going to win all five, or Whoa, well, Emma's oh, six been quite conservative with the first. Say the games again. The fixture, City. Yep, win. Oh, I think I think it could still be a draw. I don't think we'll lose. First leg against Fiorentina. Draw. Home or away. It's away the away. first leg. I'm going for a win. Palace in the cup. Win. win. Fiorentina at home. Win. Swansea. Win. Yeah, five wins. Fair enough. Five wins. Well, I've, got, I've got three to five wins to pay, depending the on how The last time I said this, it didn't go too well. Before. Yeah, I don't know if I'm willing to put my cards <laughs> on the table But we're better now than we was then. Given what happened last time, I'm a bit more that was apprehensive. Crazy. That was crazy, though. Um, <laughs> but I am not prioritising the cups as much as you guys. Anyway, uh, before that gets too controversial. So hang on, does that mean you would drop Kane for Palace then? Uh, yeah. Or, so. or one of the Fiorentina games. And play who? Chadley up front. No? <laughs> You wouldn't, you wouldn't play Chadley up front? That's a I'm not playing any... It makes Chadley and Son. Anyone that isn't two-footed, I'm not playing him up front. That's a sulky face right there. If you're not two-footed, I ain't playing you up front. Yeah, four goals in three games. Anyway, Kieran Trippier is interesting Roy Hodgson. Is that justified? He's been great for us lately. Absolutely. Why shouldn't it be? Yeah, fair enough. Do you reckon he's got a chance of getting into the Euro squad? Um, no. No. But it's good that not he's showing... Not competition in his not, position. Not, yeah. not for the Euros. I mean, it's too soon. It's too late on now for him to kind of okay. try and get a place well, in there. But... Unless there's an injury. Yeah. In England, in England injury. Who I mean. would you take out of Walker and Trippier? 
It's still Walker, Walker at the moment. Walker's got a lot of England experience in comparison to Trippier. It's he's still, not there. It never, is... never achieved anything, though. No, but he's got more experience, you know, on that stage. More experience losing for England, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, Trippier has... Everyone's got experience in losing for England. <laughs> yeah. Did you not see the last World Cup? Uh, no, I mean, I would still take Walker at the moment, but I think Trippier's making a very strong case. And I think you're right, the Euros might be too soon. Mm. But Way the too Worlds... Soon. Yeah, yeah, the Worlds... That's what we're calling I, I mean, there's a lot of names in front of it. I think even Glenn Johnson's in, in, in over him. Do you think old, Glenn yeah, Johnson's still in over him? Yeah, there's a lot of players there's, still, There are a lot of In Roy Hodgson's mind, yeah. That right back position is quite a it's a good, it's a good position. There's a lot. It's a well staffed place. But I, I don't yeah. know why I called them the worlds, by the way. I'm not really worlds, sure. Worlds, I like it. I, I like there. it. Sorry. It was uh, like a very youth. Um, <laughs> what about this? Have you seen that Ali and Kane were in Squawker's 23 under 23 list? Oh, yeah. Kane came fifth. Yeah. Um, which is fair enough. We were going to bear in mind this is global list. And uh, Deli Ali came 23rd. Ooh, that's a bit... But, so he just made the list. Just made the list. But, but bear in mind, only, he's 19. I was about to say he's only 19. So he is, he's got a lot longer left in that list than some of these other guys. He has... Other people in the list, people like But Sterling. the quality he's shown, uh, some of the players above him haven't even shown that quality. In my, it is, in my but opinion. But it's also, it's, uh, it's longevity as well, isn't it? And the fact that you could point to quite a few of the other players in that list. Like you talk about Kane being number five. He's shown it in more than one season now. So wait, did Ericsson not make that list? Uh, I don't think so. Even though he's 23 years of age? But it's not under 23. Yeah, but that would 23 mean 20... to under 23. So it wouldn't count 23? I don't think so. No? I guess you got to be, uh, yeah, under 23. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough then. <laughs> then you're excused, Squawker. <laughs> God, that was, that's some stuff was about to kick off. So. It was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, because yeah, really Ericsson was just like... Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 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 That squawker again. I know, I'm allergic like... to that list. So, um, <laughs> um, I believe Pogba was top of the list. I know Sterling was up there. I think Pogba Sterling has to be top. Sterling might have been number three or something. What? Um, and I know that, yeah, what, so you don't agree with that? You nah. think Ali should be above that? He's, I mean, he's Not done Ali, but I think Kane should be above that. Okay. Arguments Sterling for Sterling's really done it for longer. Yeah. Done what? Been a good footballer. Who's What's he done? Who what, is what, is he, what is he actually? Like, this is a whole different debate. I don't know what he's actually done, but okay, get his set, get signed for I think we've million. established basically that Craig doesn't like the list. Who came second? <laughs> Who came second? Sterling came second in the Premiership. Premier yeah. League. Oh yeah, they had Suarez. All right. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Suarez not on the list. He's a lot older. Anyway, let us know your thoughts. I know Dybala was in there. You seen him? Mm. You think he should be up there? Yeah. All right. There you go. That's why he agrees. Classic <laughs> insight. Uh, was Marshall in there? <laughs> I don't know. Marshall, Marsh be Marshall there. was in there. Okay. He was in there. The list yeah. is over there on that wall. Uh, it's not. Anyway, let us know your comments. Uh, if you saw that list, check. If you haven't seen it, check it out and let us know if you think there's anyone else who should be in there. Should Should they make it under 24 so Christian Eriksen can be in there so Craig doesn't kick off? Who knows? Let us know. Uh, what do you think is going to happen in the busy period we've got coming up? Who should we drop? Should we play Chadley up front? Yes, we should. Uh, and should Kieran Trippier go to the Euros or should we keep him for the Worlds? Who knows? You can tell us. We don't know. Give us a like if you're and subscribe if you're new. Follow us on Twitter at on TV and we will all see you soon. Hello and welcome to part one of another episode of Spurverse. I'm here with Craig and Emma as usual. Now first up we are talking about the weekend, the Watford win. 